Alright, Paul. Hello there, Martin. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Paul, you've got to see this. Mm -hmm. I've been on an internet auction site. Again. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but I got all of these discs, five pounds. Wow, that's a, that's a good price for ten. But just because they're cheap doesn't mean they're any good though, does it? Oh, yeah. Let's have a little look. Uh, first thing comes to mind on the blotter here is, where's the OSA logo? OSA logo, yeah. yeah. Look, the OSA logo is, is, okay, all right. What's OSA? OSA? Who is OSA? Yeah. OSA, my friend, is the organisation for the safety of abrasives. Ooh. OSA makes sure these cutting discs that you've bought here are manufactured to EM regulations and that it's safe for you to use. You wouldn't want to go on a plane that hadn't been tested, would you? No. Oh. Well, this mark here means that this disc has been tested to the relevant EN standards. Okay, so what kind of standards? Well, as Sanger Band are members of OSA, all of our abrasive discs, wheels, blades, mounted points and segments are manufactured and tested to the highest levels of safety and are in compliance with the relevant EN standards. For you, it basically means that you get a safe premium product with traceability for the manufacturer. All right, okay, so that all makes sense. What are these tests? Right, well, it actually depends on, on the kind of product it is. So, I mean, there are different tests and requirements for, for each of these. Let's take your, your cutting disc for example. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. So, so these must meet or surpass the standard EN12413. And this standard requires that the discs have to pass speed tests, burst speed tests, side impact tests, and side loading tests. Okay. All of those are to make sure you have a product that's going to be safe and will not fail in use. So for example, if mm. I've got a disc and it says its maximum RPM is 12,000, yeah. I know it's safe to use at that speed. Only if it has the OSA logo on the blotter. Okay, so what would happen to a disc that hasn't got the OSA logo? Ah, well, Martin, I've seen some horrific injuries where a non-OSA regulated disc has burst on a grinder. An incident with, with a faulty disc can cause either life-changing injuries or a worst case, death, to the operator or people working, uh, working around them. Put it this way, if, if a disc breaks on, on a grinder, it could hit you at 180 miles an hour. That's gonna cause some, some serious damage. That's the same speed as an arrow fired from a bow. So the difference here is that instead of a nice, clean, sharp arrow being fired at you, this is a big, dirty lump of stone that's gonna come at you. It's not just about your safety either. Like we said before, it's about the safety of everybody around your workstation. Mm -hmm. You have the guard on the grinder to protect you, but what about everybody else? Uh, the debris from a broken disc can fly in any, any direction. OSA also standardizes the information marked on a disc, such as the dimension, the specification, application uh, details and also the safety pictograms okay so is that why you always buy a disc with the OSA logo because it's safe to use exactly mate good choice passes one of your OSA certified discs please dude no and you can get your own cheapskate and next time you think you're getting a bargain try and think about the risks you're posing to yourself and all of your colleagues around you always look for the OSA logo.